is David Bueno Hill reading from Mr. Clean and the Barrio. Uh, in this scene, we got three players. We got Mr. Clean, the reluctant gang member that uh, moved from a black neighborhood to a Mexican neighborhood and uh, got sucked into gang life there. We got Mr. Clean's old best friend, Loli, who's a Jamaican guy. And we got uh, the guy that's right above Mr. Clean in the gang trying to make sure he does everything gangster and correct his little crazy. So in this scene, they're pulling into a skating rink and a stolen car to meet some girls. So, do you see the girls? Mr. Clean asked his partner for the night. Calma the way, they'll be here. Let's get some fries or something. I'm starving, Mr. Clean said as he stepped past Little Crazy and towards the snack bar. He got in line and waited as he stared at the names of all the foods he wished he could eat at once. He'd stuffed a whole pile of chili cheese fries, nachos, and hamburgers in his mouth until his cheeks looked like they were holding two basketballs. I'm gonna go take a leak, fool, Little Crazy said. Okay, Clean said back to him. Mr. Clean felt better now. He could relax. He never did like Little Crazy, but sometimes he could forget that. He noticed some cute black girls checking him out from a few feet away. They were wearing short shorts and clean white vans that made their black skin look darker than it was. Their legs looked smooth and soft, and he could picture his hand touching them. He looked up at their faces, and they saw him looking at them. Then he looked away a little embarrassed, saw them laugh at him, but they kept looking. He thought he heard a loud noise come from the restroom, but he couldn't really hear much over the loud music. He touched the crease of his pants to make sure it was still straight. He looked over at the bathroom and saw Black Fool with dreads run out looking scared. Clean decided to go see what Little Crazy had done. Now, so he left the line and walked over to the bathroom. He opened the door slowly and saw Little Crazy swinging like crazy as the Black Fool choked him. Crazy was up on the sink with his head against a broken mirror. Blood was flowing down his neck. The Black Fool had his back to Mr. Clean. He had two braids coming down the side of his head from under his hat. Lowly, Mr. Clean said, and Lowly turned around. Jay, what the hell are you doing here? Mr. Clean couldn't answer. He saw Crazy reaching for his gun that was tucked into his sock. He strapped Low, look out! But it was too late. Crazy had the gun out and Lowly jumped off of him in fear. Lowly remembered what bullets could do to a human face. You know this, my there, Mr. Clean? Is this the fool you were gonna call? Lowly stood by Mr. Clean as Little Crazy pointed the gun at both of them. Answer me, Holmes, Crazy screamed. Yeah, I know him. I guess it's time to see if you're really down for the barrio, ese. Who should I shoot first, you for not having my back or him for being a big dumb negro? They were both quiet. They didn't know what the right answer was. Neither wanted to die, but Crazy was ready for a 187. Diga me! Mr. Clean looked at Loli. His best friend was frightened and angry. He didn't want either of them to die, but Crazy was sweating he wanted to shoot so badly. Finally, Mr. Clean spoke. Me, he said and he closed his eyes just before a tear escaped. Mr. Clean waited for the shot. The door swung open so fast that everybody jumped. Crazy let off three shots and hit two security guards that had busted in. Lowly tackled him to the ground. Mr. Clean grabbed the gun and pointed the barrel up. I'll kill you fools, ultimo gangster Holmes! Little Crazy screamed as he fought them. He tried to get free, but Lowly was too heavy and Mr. Clean had both hands on the gun. Little Crazy's head was at the bottom of a urinal. Mr. Clean started to get control of the gun and pointed it at Little Crazy. Hey, fool, you can't do this. We're from the same clique, Mr. Clean, Little Crazy said. Mr. Clean said, my name is Jacob. Crazy fought more and the gun went off. His eyes were wide open and the two best friends felt that he wasn't fighting anymore.